Hi everyone, so this is going to be another quick video, uh, the last of relational algebra and uh, what we are going to look at here are expression trees and what I have on screen is uh, a relational algebra query and what I want to do is I want to create an expression tree corresponding to this query. So uh, the way this works is uh, I take a look at an operator and what I do is I say I have select s name and uh, what is the operand for this operator? It's uh, the sports relation. So I uh, create as a child of this the sports relation. And uh, similarly, I have uh, this part right here for which it would be something like select s name. And uh, the operand would be the drama relation. And uh, I'll have as the root the intersect relation. And uh, both of these would be children of this intersect relation. So uh, this right here is my expression tree uh, corresponding to the above query, which gives me uh, the names of students who are uh, part, of, part of some sports stream and, uh, and also in the drama club. So uh, basically in an expression tree, it would be uh, the node would be, uh, any node would be an operand and then it would have as its children the uh, sorry, any node would be an operator and uh, it would have as its children the operands that it acts on. So uh, the operands again could be uh, expression trees. So uh, it's kind of a recursive definition, but uh, that's basically how expression trees work. And uh, the reason expression trees are important is because uh, internally the way SQL is implemented, it uh, constructs these expression trees. So uh, we won't be going too much into that, but I just wanted to tell you what expression trees are. And from the next video, we'll get back to our SQL. So I'll see you there.